Welcome to another episode of Time to Go. A very special episode. Yeah, I lost a bet. Um, actually, I'm always wondering, I always see Mary depicted in blue. I wonder if she ever wore blue. I kinda, really doubt it. Kind of brings up my eyes, so I'm going to go with it. This is certainly the first time I've ever seen Mary depicted with a beard, but mm. yeah, we'll go with it. Uh, this is the last week of uh, our Advent season, and we get to this image of a child. Yeah, the prophet Isaiah writes about this child, um, and probably because it's the Old Testament and, you know, quite a few years before Jesus was on the scene, kind of hard to imagine the prophet Isaiah had Jesus in mind, probably more of just another future king of Israel that he had in mind. But uh, as Christians, I think it's more than okay for us to imagine that God had Jesus in mind as God was inspiring those words from Isaiah and uh, as Isaiah foretold of this child that would uh, change the world. Yeah, and Isaiah talks about the child called Emmanuel, which obviously means God with us. And so uh, as Christians, we remember that God came to be with us in the person of Jesus, bringing the greatest message of hope into this world. It's a really powerful message uh, in the midst of a world that we've talked about the last few weeks that's full of war and destruction, that God would choose to work in this way, not as a mighty warrior, but as a child uh, to bring God's good news to the world. Yeah, the child speaks to kind of the certain, you know, meekness. Uh, child, uh, children are usually pretty defenseless and need parents to, to guide them and to provide safety for them. And so for God to speak a powerful message in kind of such a meek way and in such a common way, I mean, uh, all of us are born and all of us uh, experience childhood and um, for God to speak it in such an ordinary, common, meek way, but such a, you know, world-changing, life-changing, powerful message. Uh, sounds just like what God is usually up to in our lives. Yeah. As we're here in this last week of Advent and getting closer and closer to Christmas, we hope you think about the ways that God is at work in your life in the ordinary ways that you might not expect, like a little child being brought into your life or a message that you didn't see coming, uh, that God is going to use those little things to do big things for all of us. All right, well, I think it's time to go. Time to go. Gotta yeah. get some new clothes. Yeah, I think you especially. Mm -hmm. Have a good week.